Hi, today we are going to discuss the topic is merge operation under DML operations. Before we are going to discuss the topic, let's have a great quote from great personality. The solution to your problem is to see who has it. Let's see what we are going to discuss as part of this session. We are going to discuss what is merge and how you can perform uh, operations with merge and what all the considerations we have when you want to use merge operation. Let's see. We can merge or merge helps to merge up to three records of the same S object type. This merge operation merges up to three records into one of the records. It deletes others and reparents if there is any related records. For example, if you have uh, uh, three accounts and one of the account has uh, related records, then whatever the record, whatever the master record is there, which is going to stay after deleting all other records, all other two records, then the master record becomes the parent of the related records of those deleted records. That's how it works. Anyway, now let's see how we can do everything practically. So let's go to our uh, uh, Salesforce tech book. Now, if you see here, I have um, Skylar calling lead and name is Skylar calling test company and lead sources web. Now, I'm going to clone this just for creating the duplicate uh, record. So whenever there are duplicate records, usually you are going to use merge operation. Okay. And through merge, you can merge up to three records. So let's see. Now here, I'm going to add this. Along with that, I'm going to add rating is hot. Now I have two records. One is Kailas Kali and Kailas Kali 1. And if I open this, both. I open both. Here, I have the details, first name, last name, company, and lead source, and lead status. And same way, here, in Kali 1, I have name, test company, lead source, and lead status, and rating. So here, in this record, I have one field extra, and one field value is extra compared to this lead Kailas Kali lead. So what I mean, if you want to get or if you want to add these values to this record, then how you can merge anyway. And here what is going to happen, what we are going to do here, we are going to merge these two leads into one record. While you are merging, if you want to get the values to the master record from the merged record, then you have to set the values before you are going to merge. Okay. If you are not setting the value, what is going to happen? It is going to delete the merged record by default and it is going to, I mean, it is going to have master record as is. What it means, let me show you that. Practically. Now you have two queries, right? One is uh, where last name equal to Kali and where last name equal to Kali 1. Okay. Now, I'm removing this. So if you use database merge or merge, anything, anything is same. Okay. So when you use merge statement here, first one is whatever the record you give first one, this becomes or this is called as master record. Okay. And lead OBJ1, this is going to be merged with master record. So what it means, whenever you operate, whenever you perform this merge operation, it deletes the lead OBJ1, it merges, okay, and it stays or lead OBJ stays in the Salesforce database. That's how it works. But here, what is going to happen, Salesforce simply deletes this and it will have only one record that is master record. But if you feel you have 
few details okay and you want to copy uh, merged record that in our case lead obj1 record values then what you have to do you have to copy those things to your master record and merge then what is going to happen it is going to take those values into master record and delete this this is how it works so let me show you how it works so that's why while you are using the merge record you always need to think what you want to do you just want to merge means what is going to happen it simply deletes all merged record you can add one more record here as it can up uh, merge up to three records it is going to delete lead obj1 now let's execute this what is going to happen so it simply deletes the tally one record simply so let's go to this one and it has a rating heart rate so now it is going to delete this so what salesforce did here it deletes the merged record and it stays here master record remains same there is no any change if you see here it has the first name last name company lead source lead status but rating is not copied from the merged record if you want to copy like that you have to assign those values to the master record before merging it so now i am going to do that so let me clone again this so cloning means you don't need to clone basically usually in real time you may have duplicates you have to identify here i am just creating duplicate record and now heart and i am changing the working and contacted lead status and industry save so if you observe here i changed the lead status in uh, kali one lead record okay which we want to merge and agriculture industry i added and rating is hot how i am going to do here see here now i have a kali one record with lead status rating hot and uh, uh, agriculture okay let's see what we are going to do i want to copy all the details all the extra details to the master record before merging okay that means before salesforce deleting this record i want to merge few field values to the master record how you can do let's go with this and here and querying lead source and rating what else we have um industry now i am going to add so i am going to assign these values to the master record this one okay i am going to set values to master record before merging uh, industry equals lead obj1 dot industry and lead obj dot rating 1 dot rating and lead obj dot lead source equals lead obj 1 dot lead source what i am doing instead of simply merging the records okay i identified few values i want to copy from the merged record merged record here in our case lead obj 1 to lead obj that is master record for that you have to set those values like this and then you have to perform the merge record let's see what is going to happen executed executed successfully now what is going to happen salesforce deletes the merged record in our case kali one record let me refresh it is deleted before it is deleting it copies the values or it sets the values to the master record that is kailas one kailas kali just kali if you see here lead source web and industry agricultural lead status open not contacted and rating also done uh, but i didn't map the lead status that's why there is no in, any change i just map lead source industry and heart these three values copied from the merged record which is deleted if you go to if you go here see there is no kali one here that's how a merge operation works okay same thing 
happens with database.merge also. Only difference is syntax. Okay, you have to pass master record. If you have a, a multiple duplicate records, you can pass list also here, list of records, but it supports only three records together. Okay, three records together, that is master and two other records, duplicate records. False means if there is any uh, issue, it is not going to show or it is not going to throw error, uh, compile errors. I mean, it is not going to throw any error, but you can capture the errors through this result. But the result is same if there is no any error. So what are the considerations we have with merge operation? The first consideration is this merge operation you can use with the leads, contacts, cases and accounts only. That means these objects records only uh, supports merge operation. And we can pass a master record and up to two additional S object records to single merge method. That means we can merge up to three records. That's what. Okay, one master record and two additional S object records. And what happens when you perform a merge operation? Master record remains, I mean, stays remain same uh, and it deletes the other two records. Simple. Master record will be uh, there in the Salesforce database and it deletes other records. Okay. And if you want to set the values, you have to set the values before merge operation. See here, using Apex merge operation, field values on the master record always superset the corresponding field values on the records to be merged. But to preserve the merged record field value, simply we just need to set this field value on the master S object before performing the merge. That's what we did in the second example. And one more thing we have to remember, external ID fields can't be used with much. This is how much operation works. You, I will give you this reference link under this YouTube video description. You can have a look. All the best. Please subscribe to Salesforce Techbook.